All right, he is tagged as the only genuinely conservative Latino to host a nationally syndicated radio program heard on the Blaze Network and at AM 700 KSEV in Houston. Chris Salcedo is in the house once again. Chris, how are you? Ed, pleasure. Merry Christmas. It's nice Merry, to be with you. Merry Christmas to you and well, my friend. Let's go ahead and unwrap some presents here, if you will. Let's start with Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz is one. There are many others who say, our friends, the Republicans, our fellow Republicans, you're spineless. You should have sat right down, not let anything happen, shut this government down, and there wouldn't have been a problem with it whatsoever as long as it defunded this executive action, immigration, everything beyond it. Was that really a smart thing to even think about? I don't think he I don't think Ted Cruz ever said we ought to be the goal ought to be shutting down the government. The goal was to stand up for the rule of law and to stand up to Obama. What we got instead with the continuing resolution was John Boehner uh, collaborating with Barack Obama. I mean, you, you talked about Ed right off the top about this, this whole back and forth in, in the GOP. Have you looked at the Democrat side lately? Elizabeth Warren and Nancy Pelosi and Steny Hoyer at each other's throats. Barack Obama beating up on the liberals to pass this Republican uh, cromnibus bill. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of infighting going around on both sides of the political aisle. But did Boehner do he, what he had to do, though, Chris? I mean, this is what some people will say, that in order to at least get forward and get to next year, he had to do this and keep the Democrats from backing the Republicans into this shutdown corner again. Well, we've heard this over and over again. Oh, next year, we'll, we'll attack uh, the extremist liberal progressives here in the country. This in the country. This uh, next year down the road. We'll, it, that's all we have heard. And John Boehner uh, did a bait and switch with Republicans inside. I mean, I mean, it was it was Gruber esque what he did with the yo the yo ho amendment inside of it. I, I think it was Breitbart that was writing about this this morning. And Louis Gohmert was peeling back the uh, the uh, the layers of the onion here. Uh, John Boehner put out one thing to the uh, to the uh, Republican caucus. And then the leadership changed the language at the last minute. It was this whole idea about giving work permits to illegal immigrants. They, they didn't want to have it. The conservatives didn't want to have that as part of the funding mechanism. They did a bait and switch. John Boehner pulled the wool over the Republican eye, Republicans' eyes, all in an effort to avoid a government shutdown. And John Boehner undermined the conservatives in this country. But why would he do this then to undermine his own people? Some people seem to believe maybe he's trying to tamp down the Tea Party, teach them a lesson. Chris, there's got to be a reason why you go against your own people and what is set to be a mandate from the American people to get something done. Sure, there is a reason. Mr. Boehner has thrown in with Barack Obama. Mitch McConnell has thrown in with Barack Obama. It is now officially in us against them. We have we have turned uh, away from a country that was a, a government rather, that was of, by, and for the people into a government that is screw the people. And that is exactly what's happening on Capitol Hill right now. You've got, <laughs> oddly enough, the conservatives and the extremist progressives for different reasons opposing this continuing resolution, this cromnibus bill. And you've got Obama and Boehner and Steny Hoyer and Mitch McConnell collaborating behind the scenes to pass this bill. Well, why would they do that, though, Chris? I only got about 40 seconds left before we take a break, though. Why the, would he do that, knowing that there would be this snapback from you and others, and certainly from people within his own party, that would, again, just call him gutless and spineless? Well, uh, the reason why he would do it is because, to John Boehner, government is what's important, not the will of the people. And uh, th that's the long and short answer right there. Th these guys have been in the beltway far too long. Uh, I believe in a government of, by, and for the people, a responsive government to we the people. Uh, they're, they on Capitol Hill don't believe that. They believe they know what's best for we the people. So is John Boehner so, so is John Boehner gutless? No, no, he just has a different agenda that doesn't match with the American people. No, John Boehner is, is very courageous. It takes a lot of courage to, uh, to pass legislation against the will of the American people. All right, we're going to go ahead and leave that there for a moment. Stand by, Chris. We will stick after the break. We're going to then turn to the complete and absolute unknown, the political twilight zone known as 2015, and what happens inside the Beltway when the calendar changes, especially when it pertains to this immigration issue. And this special edition of America's Forum continues. <laughs>